Alright, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Death's Gambit. I'm dead tired, but I am not going to bed without checking this game out. It's one of the games I've been looking forward to for months, I think since February of this year. Uh, I saw the trailer for it, and I'm like, holy shit, this looks good. Uh, so I picked it up, or I pre-ordered it. It looks gorgeous. Uh, but I think it's supposed to be like a souls like type game. I think Salt and Sanctuary, probably. Alright, technical difficulties are the best. So we can be a different classes. So Soldier, Assassin, Blood Knight, Wizard, Noble, Sentinel, or Acolyte of Death. Uh, can I see what these do? So Vitality, Health Points, Strength, Damage of Strength Weapons and Abilities. Let's you equip better Strength Weapons and Shields. Finesse, Damage of Finesse Weapons and Abilities. Same thing. Endurance amount of stamina points, intelligence, spell damage, lets you equip stronger spells, increases magic resistances, haste, ability to ability and bow cast speed, decreases ability cooldown time, increases stamina regen rate. Okay. So what do we want to be? I mean, I could try Acolyte of Death and see if this is any good. You know? Maybe I should try the scythe, be an edgy edgelord, Acolyte of Death. I've got a scythe pre-order item, and I should probably probably use that and that would let me use um daggers and stuff too maybe i don't know let's give it a go what's the worst thing that could happen item vado's helm vitality by five let's see spellbinder aura or enchanted with elemental whiffs using abilities increases intellect by two for 24 seconds shield warding negative status effects reduced by 25 percent Increases endurance by 100% for 14 seconds. Hands of the right person. It can be used to upgrade weapons and armor. That's a good idea. Throne or gift. Lock it. It holds a small picture of someone dear to you. Let's go with that one. And uh, let's see. Create soul. I like wizard pew pew lasers. Maybe? I have so much trouble with withers. Whoa, it's voice acted? Shame it's always the cowards that survive. Uh. Considering the fate of your men, I thought I'd do them a service. My men, they're Go all... Go back to Vados. You have an obligation to their families now. Go back to Va That's interesting. Can I attack this guy? I probably should. I'm back so soon. This pain, like I'm burning from the inside out. Better get used to it. This contract will resurrect you in service to me. Rest assured, your mind and actions will be your own. Though why you mortals insist in glorifying a self-aggrandizing hoax is beyond me. In return, you must do something for me. What could I possibly do for you? Good time. For now, just sign here. In blood, of course. That's contract. Okay, so let's see if I can turn things up a little bit. Video and sound. Ah, oh, dang. I was really hoping there would be a separate voice meter. Uh, so this might be kind of awkward. Yeah, unfortunately voice acting I think is going to be a little bit quiet for the live streams. Or I'm gonna have to turn- I'm gonna try turning things up, but it might make the game sounds like really loud. I don't know. It could be kind of tough. Or it's a separate thing entirely. We could test that actually. Configure sound. Let's see if voice acting is tied to the- tied to the sound meter, or if I'm terribly, terribly wrong. I'm trying to get it to 50 and it's not sticking there. We're stuck at 51. I don't get a choice. And I actually have a mount. It's weird to have a mount in one of these games. A white rabbit game. Oh, this is neat. I... I'm a sucker for Souls likes, especially good ones. I've been itching for a game like Salt and Sanctuary for... years. Pretty much ever since it came out, I was like, yeah, I'd like to play another one of these. And I haven't had the... The chance, honestly. I'm assuming I can't get on that. Okay. We'll figure this out later. It looks like it's kind of going to be Metroidvania-y. What's this? Read inscription. 
Press X button to attack with your primary weapon. Press menu to open your inventory. Okay. So, Scythe of Reaping. Oh, right. Pre-order items. Rusty Charm. I'm going to equip it. What does what does the Rusty Chain Charm exactly say? Lock it holding a small picture of my parents. There's an engraving that reads, To our dearest loves, we watch over you. Interesting. Oh. Hold left bump... Uh, bumper button next to the ladders to climb. Pro plume. So if I let go of the left bumper, I just immediately fall. Why not just have me press the up button? I don't know. Use the horse to leap over big gaps. Ow. Lorgoth short bow. Press right bumper to trigger your secondary weapon. Okay, so we should probably equip the short bow. Yeah, how do I get my mount? Oh, I see. I get my mount this way. Can it can it jump? No. I jump off my mount. I guess we're just supposed to run at it and it'll do the jump automatically for me. Oh, and that gives us an automatic way back. Gotcha. Rest. Okay, your actions in this world will not be forgotten. Love love. Okay, so it requires some shards to level up. I don't have any. Yeah, so pretty familiar. Not entirely different. Well, not entirely the same, but not entirely different either. But really pretty. The arrow arc looks silly. It's helpful, but it's a bit cartoonish. I don't mind the arrow arc. The main thing... Whoa. Dodging up... Uh. Oh, we do run out of ammo, ammo eventually. Unless it comes back when I rest. Ah, comes back when I rest. Okay. Uh, it looks silly. Main problem is there's no, like, uh, whoops. There's no character animation uh, for pulling it back apart from the arms. Like, there's no, like, I'm pulling a, I, you know, I'm, I'm pulling a bowstring. Hold left trigger to block. Press B button while moving to dodge roll. If I remember right, I have, like, no stamina. It does feel a little bit, uh... Ow! Whoa! Hi. It does feel a little bit light for a Souls-like. Oh, and there's, there's Lizard Guy again. Don't think I can die, actually. Give you a god complex, I see. If you intend to squander your life, go right on ahead. I'm sure your men are eager to see you. But should you think twice, take one of these. They're restorative plumes. Use it to ensure your return to Vados. Consider it the last kindness I offer you. Not sure burning me alive is a kindness. Okay, so yeah, voice acting is in fact tied to sound effects, so I guess I'm just gonna have to turn that up. I might turn down the music a little bit just so we can hear it. I don't know, this is gonna be awkward. Seriously, developers, please, please, please give us, uh, voice sliders. Okay. So we wanna reclaim? Lost plumes. Interesting. Augment feather. Damage increase. That's an interesting uh, situation. Anyway. I'm gonna... I'm gonna level up my endurance. I think. Because, uh... Oh boy. That's low. Let's go back. Let's see if anything else levels up my endurance. Like if I level up my haste? Or maybe my fi finesse. Okay, so finesse just increases a percentage of weapon one and two. Oh, includes bows. It's a good idea. But yeah, I, I gotta I gotta pump some points into endurance because it looks like it scales up my all of my stats. In fact, just slower. 
Dude, this game looks cool. Is it on Steam? Yep, just came out a couple hours ago. That menu is direct from Souls. Yeah, I mean, it, this is unapologetically uh, inspired by Souls likes. Oh, interesting. The dude didn't respawn. Might have just been a unique tutorial boss, though. Right bumper to use the equip item. Okay, so I can heal. Resting at death idols regenerates used feathers. Yep. I think I'm mostly just going to use and abuse the fact that I've got uh, it's crazy range on this thing. I'm not actually sure I'm supposed to beat this guy apart from just kind of hit running. I guess you're supposed to wait till he attacks. Well, blocking, press this. Oh, secondary weapon. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, the animations for run running with your bow out are actually bad. For such a beautiful game, that animation. Ho oh ho! Attack will in the air or after a dodge roll to execute different attacks. Yeah. I wonder if you can do a dodge roll mid-air. No, but you can descend faster, which is kind of interesting in and of itself. So that, that kind of works. Oops. Well, at least we know there's probably not fall damage. It's a little... It's a little faster pace than I was expecting. Like, we, we zip. And we also get stuck on things. We fall really fast. Fragile courage. Mm. But all things considered, like, I, I am enjoying this. Oh, that's cool. You can kind of lean out. Game reminds me of Mega Man. Kinda. You know what it actually reminds me of? It actually uh, very distinctly reminds me of Children of Morta. Sort of. Now let's... Okay. So it's a 1% damage increase across the board. Uh, let's go back for a second. What about increasing my vitality? Only increases my health. Because it almost feels like... Oh, haste does it too. I wonder if the low-key strategy here... Because this increases it by... 4%. Oh, that's pretty good, though. I don't know. I'm trying to decide. It almost feels like the low-cade Metastrat is actually the level Endurance and Haste instead. Uh, because you get maximum Endurance. Not much. And then one in everything. I guess if you want to be an all-rounder and you're undecided, it's a good idea. It's not much, though. I'm going to keep pumping it in Endurance for just a little while, at least. Yeah, I wonder what the maximum level is, if it's high or low or anything like that. Attack enemies to gain energy. Oh, this is how we learn spells? Or special moves. Press Y to use your equipped ability. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah, and so he can hit behind him. And 
And that actually, okay, so that actually does do damage and we get a slight booster. That's kind of neat. Yeah, for how fast the movement is, the actual combat is still kind of slow. But I think I really just need, like, a much higher stamina system to... Stamina system? Stamina bar. To be able to, like, wail off a bunch of quick hits. We might also want to get a dagger. Like, I wonder if a dagger might be uh, a better combo combo system? A dagger might be a better op option if I want to start, like, spamming special abilities. Who knows? Well, we probably have enough uh, special moves. I also think this game has, like, headshots and weak points. Weird. Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised. But we could probably just go down at this point. Okay, so these guys do respawn. Yeah, maybe the the feeling of speed actually uh, to some. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe the feeling of speed to some large degree is actually an end result of how fast you fall down. Cause you fall real quick in this game. Oh, I can't get up there. Oh. Bumper ladder. Yeah, I've already been through here. Big Scythe is probably a strength weapon, but this is fantasy land. Yeah, so it's finesse. Hello, who are you? Welcome, friend! Come, come, take a look at Fink's wear. You sure to be. <laughs> Pleased. Okay, so Fink sells broken arrows. Pebbles, corpse shield. Poison builds up while shield is out. A decaying torso strapped to several planks of wood. It looks like a body was stabbed with a small knife. Think guarantees it can be used as a shield. A cult helm. Uh, oh. You lose 10 health per second when below 75% health. A malicious visage covers the wearer's face, but within the confines of the helmet, thorns threaten to draw blood with every false move. Words are inscribed on the back. Suffer, you'll noth, so the world might be free. Such a place has never been mentioned in our histories or maps. It's merely the work of a madman. So yeah, strength at plus 10, finesse plus 10. So it looks like we're actually going to have quite a number of stats along the way here. Level cap is 150 with 500 new game plus. Damn. Oh, cannot rest with enemies nearby. Another crow plume. Which I think count as homeward bones? Okay. Okay. So that's that's how you do that. I don't the other one must be the parry. Cannot rest with enemies nearby. Oh. The people up here. Well I'm Oops. Pointed the wrong direction. At least I can spam shot these guys to death. And they're worth a fair amount of shards. What enemies are nearby? Somebody over there? Ah. Oh. Thirty plus shards. So that weird merchant is the enemy. Okay, I was wondering about that. It's like, how? How? What? And who? Where's this? Where? Where are these guys even coming from? Yeah, the shopkeep was aggroed. Apparently, I didn't attack him. I think he just decides to stab you in the back. Surprising no one. He seems like the kind of guy that would do it. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep, uh... I'm, I'm taking it slow here. I apologize for that. It's like 3 a.m. and I'm kind of tired. So my, like, my exact... Problem-solving abilities are not exactly great. Talents. 
Talent points. Regenerate stamina while blocking. Phoenix Feather gives you 15 soul energy. Interesting. Journal of Immortals. I was really hoping there would be a map button. Now, this is going to be one of those games without a map button. Well... I gotta remember, I also have that healing feather that I almost never use. Okay. So those guys can break your shield. That's good to know. I'm, uh... Hello? Hello! Well, that was a Solzian thing to happen. I should have waited. I should have known. Oh, of course. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. So, Big Bird really doesn't want me to stand here or loot any of these items. There's safe- oh, there's safe places. I want that other item, but I think we're going to have to deal with Big Bird first. Or I'm just going to have to brave it. Reinforced Elm. Okay, so is that... That's got to be... That's got to be better than what I've currently got on. Oh. Oh. I will admit the, uh, the bird shrieky noise is going to get uh, a bit tiresome. But whatever. Okay. Ow. That's a new one. Okay. This is a weird... This is a weird, uh, dude. Okay, stay away from that. Heal up, might as well. I'm getting it going, and it, I like, oh, uh, well, you know, this is fine. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, nice sweep attacks from my, my scythe are actually kind of appreciated. Let's put one into haste. We really need to kind of focus on, on stamina here. I, I'm assuming once we get some equipment, it won't be so bad. Still, what's this? Feather upgrade. That gets me a fourth one. All right. Barrel dude. Of course there's a barrel dude. It's a souls-like. Why wouldn't there be a barrel dude? And there's also a chest here, but... Well, it's a chest I should be maybe able to open? Nope, it's healing. I need I need something specific or I need more damage. Okay, well, we'll come back to this place later. Hello! Press A button. Hold down the left stick to go through platforms. Yep. Very good as much. Nope. This one won't do either. What happened to them? An explanation for another time. Seems we are the straggler. Thanks to him, my enemy. I trust you won't disappoint. For your sake. You're a survivor, are you not? It is not too late. Return from whence you came. No one is left to return to. You're not the only orphan of war. But perhaps he'll be the last. Know that I do this to put an end to tragedies like yours. And if your sacrifice is necessary to my mission, then so be it. Alright, boss fight!
on the only piece of cover in the area. Arrow spam. Okay, ow. Yeah, I probably should, like, learn how to use my shield here. Wow. That does some damage. Your meddling will have dire consequences. Talent point. Alright, hey, there we go. Gain a talent point. Alright, go here. So we can get, uh... Killing enemies gives you soul energy to use for abilities. Gotcha. Confirm. Alright, and then we can kind of choose our build. So Phoenix Feather grants you 15 soul energy. Uh, regenerate stamina faster when blocking. Or a 20% damage boost for 10 seconds after regaining a lost Phoenix Feather. I think I'm probably going to go for Arm of... S uh, maybe not. Feathers when over 90% health removes miter status ailments and restores stamina. You do not lose soul ener energy when standing still. When out of arrows, you can continue shooting. 5 soul energy per arrow. Energy weapons require no soul energy to use while you have an abil any ability on cooldown. Combo finisher finishers cause your next air attack or air your next air attack to deal four times more damage. Oh, huh. Blocking attacks while below 50% health heals you for 25% of the damage blocked. Holy crap! Killing enemies lowers the time any ability uh, cooldown time of any ability is currently on cooldown by one second. That font is really hard to read for me. Combo finishers of one, of weapon one, increase the damage your weapon to by 25% for six seconds. Okay. Ability in slot three has cooldown reduced by 25%. Gain double experience from killing enemies if you are mortal. Huh. The first attack taken after using a death statue deals no damage. Oh. Free hit. Walking attacks lowers the time of any abilities currently on cooldowns by two seconds. Roll attacks increases soul energy gained by attacks. Let's see. Air dodge. Allows dodging midair. Known as Takahashi's Bane. Funny. Uh, let's see. Soul trigger. Increased damage dealt by 35% for 12 seconds. 120 second cooldown. 30 energy costs. That's not bad. Blocking attacks at the last moment reduces the stamina cost by 50%. Doubles the soul energy gained by killing enemies. And max soul energy gained by 30. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go down the blocking tree. Oh, I must have missed that. Press left on the D-pad to change equipment I uh, equipped items. Oh. Oh, that's probably for use items, now that I'm thinking about it. Alright. Oh, I fell down from up there. Well, getting back's going to be a bit of a pain. Oh, this will get the last thing open at the very least. Yeah, sorry I'm stumbling over my words. Like I said, it's 3 a.m. So, I'm playing okay. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to play any further than this, because this is kind of the, <laughs> the limits of my brain power right now. Uh, but this is a damn good Souls-like, souls, souls -like, uh, you know, platformer. If you like, uh, I mean, if you like any of the Souls-like games, uh, or Souls games in general, or especially Salt and Sanctuary, this game is going to be feel right at home. And, uh, that's, that's real good. It's got a little bit of clunk, but so far, like, my initial impressions of this are nice and... Uh, nice and positive. Anyway, I I guess actually that's yeah the stopping point that I was talking about. All right, let's let's murder these guys while I do so. Uh, so this is going to be a good stopping point for me. Uh, obviously, uh, game's out on Steam already. Whoops, that's the wrong one. I'm just gonna let him go first. There we go. Yeah, there's parrying, but I don't know if I'm ever going to be very good at parrying. Okay, uh, game's out on Steam right now, it's 20 bucks. Uh, if you're wondering where I got Death Scythe, it's, uh, it was a pre-order bonus, so that's, that's gone. Oh, that's, that's a cool thing. Yeah, the combo system is cool. I was hoping you could do, like, drop slams and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm having fun with this, and it looks like it'll probably get a lot more challenging. Right now, it's it's kind of balanced well. Let's hit one more guy for one more level. Thank you. Thank you, one more guy. 
<laughs> you are now dead. Thank you for your things. Okay, so as I was saying, this game's on Steam already. No waiting period. It's 20 bucks, and I think that's a fair price. You know, 15, 20 bucks for this kind of game? I'm assuming it's decently long. Souls likes do tend to be, uh, especially with all the challenge and repetition and whatnot. The talent system might not be as, like, expansive as Sultan Sanctuaries was, but it, I mean, it gets the job done. I'm actually kind of looking forward to, uh, you know, seeing what kind of stuff we can get into. And I'm also really hoping that we get it, uh, we get to try out some new and interesting weapons. I'm loving the scythe, but, you know, maybe some daggers, maybe some other interesting weapons. Who knows? Anyway, so if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm going to be playing a ton of this game. I'm also going to be wiggling back and forth. I'm also going to try and stream a bunch of this over the course of the next couple days. So if you watch my streams, tune in. Anyway, see you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching.